Hey my dudes, what is up? My name is Simo and I have a very naughty puppy with me so he will probably be barking the whole way through this, won't you? Won't you? Yes, okay, so today's video I am so excited about. I posted this picture on the Reddit's Roast Me subreddit and right now I have 67 notifications of people roasting me and I am so excited about this. Bring it on, cannot wait. Also behind me, I don't know how much you can see on camera, is a mess because Link likes to bark to get up in the bed but doesn't like you to pick him up in the bed because he's a dramatic little boy. So we shall see how well he behaves. On with the roast. Okay, so just for context, when you put something onto the subreddit asking them to roast you, you get the chance to put like a little bio about yourself. So I just let them know my hobbies. I like to pole dance, like to figure skate, go to the gym. I'm dyslexic, I'm arthritis. I'm arthritis. I have arthritis. That my favorite TV show is Game of Thrones. I love coffee, I have dogs, love Lady Gaga. And I just said, do your worst. Cause you know, if you've already got low self-esteem, people can't drag you down. <laughs> I'm joking, this is all hopefully in good fun. Um, I did actually also say that I will probably turn this into a YouTube video because I thought that would be extra ammunition. Okay, let's dive into the comments of chatted enough. <laughs> I would roast you, but I'm afraid you wouldn't understand it. It's a little dyslexic joke there. Thank you for that. Pole dancing question mark. I would rather inject Lysol. Topical, topical. <laughs> <laughs> Your YouTube channel has been visited less than Wuhan this year. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's true, so. Hmm. So this one says, I'm surprised you spell roast me right. And then someone's like, I'll be surprised if she'll get the joke. Bro, she can't even read what we're saying. Could someone send her an audio message for these roasts? <laughs> How very inclusive of you. Who's a loud boy? Who's a loud boy? Mummy's trying to read mean comments about her. He would just wake up from a nap just before I start filming. <laughs> your hair looks like it's trying to escape the same fate as your eyebrows. <laughs> they want some of that social distancing. Wait, what's wrong with my eyebrows? Are my eyebrows really far apart? Look at my eyebrows now. I thought I had very average eyebrows. <laughs> a pole dancing troll dog with arthritis. A pole dancing troll dog with arthritis. Who could ask for more? <laughs> so someone replied, okay then, put it that way, she gets my dollar. Here it's called a loony, how fitting. Some shade from the Canadians. Are you wanting up in the bed? I studied in Canada, we stand some Canadian shades. I don't get this one, Mrs. Heat Miser. That must be the worst lit strip club in the world. <laughs> nice. <laughs> they made a comments on my hair. <laughs> Do you wake up every morning and style your hair with a balloon? Well, I might as well with the amount of frizz it has. The balloon might do a better job. Are you being a rude boy? Are you roasting mummy? Are you roasting me too? Oh. <laughs> right, do you want to come read mean comments to him? Okay, so Link's misbehaving, so we'll bring him. Your hair is more messy than my lifestyle. <laughs> Did you not like that one? <laughs> Way you are clenching your fingers shows how bad you want attention. Eh? It's nice that your owner rolls down the window so you can stick your head out. Thanks. What do you research your hairline? <laughs> Lots of comments on my hair. Wonder why. Savage. So this one says, yeah, I get it. You pole dance because it's fun and great exercise. Definitely not because you want to feel sexy after years of being rejected. Oh, none of these are wrong to be fair. <laughs> Oh, those informative years of me being rejected a lot in school. Oh, my self-esteem. There was sarcasm in there, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I see that you mentioned that you're a lot of things, but you forgot ugly. <laughs> Getting right to the point. I mean, I thought the picture would have covered that. You're definitely dyslexic because you got the five and the two mixed up. I mean, again, these are all very, very true because I'm secretly 94, so I didn't even get my... So he's basically calling me old because I look like an old woman if he didn't get that. But I internally am an old woman. The amount of time I spend drinking chamomile tea and paja wearing pyjamas, again, not wrong. People pay you to keep your shirt on. I mean, if you want to pay me to keep my clothes on, I am down with that. Down with it. Can we sort out an arrangement? That would be even better than feet pics. Just saying. You kind of look like you just came out of a wind tunnel. <laughs> is someone running a current? <laughs> is someone running a current through the pole to give you a finger and a socket look? <laughs> People keep mentioning this heat miser. This one says, nice to see corona coronavirus hasn't shut down production of, of the live action heat miser movie. I'm gonna need to Google this. Oh, fucking doppelganger right here. <laughs> it's another hair joke. I'll put a picture up of who the fuck Heat Miser is. Sorry guys, that one was lost on me. I have no idea who that is or where they're from, but this is what people are saying to look like. Dyslexia strikes again. <laughs> Dyslexia strikes again. You wrote pole dancing instead of dancing troll. What, did your human just take you for a ride in the car? Woof woof. Hilarious. I threw up a little in my mouth picturing you pole dancing. Rude. <laughs> I like the ones that just get to the point. <laughs> I, can, I, can I can figure out what, I think it's supposed to be I can't. I can't. Let me try again. If you misspell something in the comments, I'm gonna struggle. I can't figure out what is grosser, everything about this pic or nah, that's it. Is this a hairdresser in the comments? I'm gonna need you to get a gallon of coconut oil for that hair. You don't think I've tried that? This is frizzy. Frizzy hair and nothing will reduce the frizz, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you look like an armpit. That was a good cackle, I like that one. Short, sweet, to the point. What everyone doesn't know is that is also how her hair looked before quarantine as well. People speak the truth. It looks like you comb your hair with a pack of firecrackers. The only pole you should get close to is the south pole. You look like you just finished an epic hug sesh with an electric fence. Your face screams speech impediment and your boyfriend probably wears a beret. He doesn't. And I don't. I mean, I lisp a little bit. I think that's because part of my front teeth are fake, so. Thank God none of your pole dancing videos are on your profile. I don't need that much pity for one person. <laughs> How are you not already humble? LMAO, that's a lot of compensating. It's not compensating, it's denial. <laughs> your teeth look bigger than your IQ. I am shocked that's the first comment about my teeth. Well, so far. I really can't blame the hair in the top left for trying its best to get away from your face. I mean, it tries, it really does try. <laughs> Consider using conditioner when washing your hair. If only you knew how much conditioner I put in this hair. If only you knew. Okay, we're starting to get a lot of joke repeats now. Quite a few people tell me I look 52. Get an original joke, please. Walmart, Reese Witherspoon, let's see some moves. I am gonna take that as a compliment. Reese Witherspoon is a babe, thank you. Do I look like Reese Witherspoon? I don't think I look like Reese Witherspoon. I mean, even a Walmart Reese Witherspoon, I mean, that's something. <laughs> she hasn't brushed her hair since her family stopped loving her. I think you forgot to mention colorblind too. Those colors clash more than the WWE pay for view. My colors clash. Let me check. Oh yeah, fuck, okay. Blue, yellow, purple, black, okay. You've got a point. Blippers where you blow a raspberry are really quite infuriating. A fan of the channel, hi. Okay, so that seems to be all of the roasts 
from the Reddit slash, oh my god, I just had like a dyslexic moment but in my brain. So that is all the roasts from the Roast Me subreddit. What was your favourite one? Some of them are really funny. They, they started to get a wee bit repetitive towards the end and I got two private messages. One was rather creepy. It asked um, if I could rate someone's dick pic, which no, I cannot. Please do, do not send me that. And yeah, that was a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed that and you could make fun. <laughs> I'm just looking at my picture because what I thought is I could put like a glam picture up. I could put like an ugly picture up, but I feel like this picture is me in my natural state if I was to like, if you were to just come home, no, let me start that again. So this picture is just me in my natural state. So if you were to just come into my home office, see me working from home, this is how you would probably see me. Blue glasses, frizzy hair and all. And yes, lots of comments about the frizzy hair. My hair is untamable. You don't understand. And this is it short because I donated it ages ago. Imagine, just picture this, but so much longer so so much longer i donated like 13 inches imagine the hell my life was imagine trying to brush this feel sorry for me <laughs> i'm joking right <laughs> so that was a lot of fun that was really good um i got quite a lot i was a little bit worried that i was gonna post this and like two people would be like sure bitch i'm not roasting you so people put in a lot of effort thank you so much for that and thank you for watching my name is simo subscribed all that good stuff Sorry if Link was yet again very distracting. He has decided to fall asleep now that I am doing the outro of the video. Hope you have a lovely day. Bye.